Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is Dottie with Ignite Cinemas, and today I'm gonna be breaking down how to do a four-way split screen using only Final Cut Pro 10, no plugins required. Let's get it. Hey, welcome back to the channel, everyone. If you are new here, please consider subscribing as this is a channel dedicated to Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials, gear reviews, and filming tips and tricks. And today I'm gonna be doing a tutorial on how to do a fatal four-way, or sorry, that's the nerd in me, a four-way split screen effect using Final Cut Pro 10. I know I did a split screen tutorial effect a few years ago, and it's one of the most popular videos on this channel, and I wanna kinda take it to the next level and show you guys how to do it with four clips as opposed to two. What we're gonna do first is we're gonna have our clips we're using on our timeline now this one I am using a 4k timeline which is 3840 by 2160 this is what I use but it's also available to do in 1080 as well which is 1920 by 1080 you'll see why I'm giving you these numbers in a second first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna have all our clips on top of each other so I got four different clips of me and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get the mouse and I'm gonna highlight all of them from there, we're going to come over here and we're going to change the scale to 50%. And that changes it for all of them. All right, now we could simply come over here to the transform tool and move these clips around. And you can be done with this tutorial, to be honest. And you could be good. Now, as you can see, I didn't quite line them up correctly. And if we zoom in, you can see. I'm off and that is not what's popping. So let me go back and I'm gonna show you how to get the perfect lines and the perfect frame and the perfect setup every time. So as I said before, I'm using 4K. This also works for 1080, which I'll show you. But a 4K timeline, we have dimensions of 3840 by 2160. Now we gotta do some math here, okay? So bring out your calculator. So we gotta divide those by four. So first we're gonna do 3840 divided by four and that's gonna equal 960, which will be for X axis. And then we gotta divide 2160 by four, which will equal 540, which will be on our Y axis. For the top, let's enter those numbers in. So we're gonna come over to X. And since we wanna go to the top left corner, we're going to put the negative sign and we're going to enter 960, hit tab, and then on our Y axis, we're going to enter 540. And boom, it goes there. Let's go to the next one. We want to move to this top right corner. We're going to do 960 to the Y axis and that is going to be 540. Come back here. We want to go over here to cover this bottom left. X axis is going to be negative 960, negative 540. Then last one is going to be 960, tab, negative 540. Now, as you can see, when you zoom in on all this, oh, it's it's a, it's it's a picture perfect. It's perfect. Okay, if we're done, we're done. You know, but we're not done. In my case, I'm not done yet. So. Now let's say one of our scenes is out of frame and I want to do some better framing. Well, I can't come over here to transform and make it bigger because then that, that, that just ruins the whole everything. That ruins the whole vibe, you know? What we do in that case is we select the scene we want to fix and frame and we come over here and we go to crop and we select crop. Now from here, we can adjust the square and it's going to keep us in the right proportions of what we're doing. So let's say I wanted to frame it like this right here. We could hit done and we are good to go and we are ready. So if that's all you needed, that's all you have to do. All right, so the last thing I wanna do is I wanna add some Ignite Flare, sprinkle some flare and some pizzazz into this. So if you wanna kinda of like give a animation, we're gonna use a keyframe and it's gonna make it look a lot cooler. So let's go in about one second in and I'm gonna add a keyframe to all of these clips. I come over here to transform and you see this plus sign up here. 
I'm going to select it. And then you should get the indication that all these turn yellow on the right side, which is exactly what we want. And I'm going to continue to go through all the clips the same place with the header right here and make sure I hit the plus sign and do that for all of the clips. Okay. <clears throat> Once we do that, it's easy. Keyframing, I'm not going to hold you. Like keyframing could be so confusing at times. So don't be alarmed. Like follow these steps step by step. Come back up to the top clip. Make sure it's selected. Make sure that it is highlighted yellow. And I'm going to go three frames to the left. I'm going to use the left arrow key. Go one, two, three. Okay. I'm there. Then I'm going to come over and then I'm going to change everything to zero. So x axis, x axis is going to be zero. Y axis is going to be zero. And the scale is going to be 100. Then for this one, I'm going to Go down and I'm gonna go again. Three to the left. One, two, three. I'm gonna do everything zero, zero, 100. Tab out, I'm good. Go to the bottom, okay? And you're gonna wanna make sure, like, I have not hit done here. Don't hit done, just keep it moving, okay? Make sure it's highlighted again. And I'm gonna go over on my mouse, I mean my keyboard. One, two, three. And I'm gonna clear out the X axis y axis and make it a hundred percent scale last one one two three on the mouse go frames over change it zero change it zero make it 100 and now we could hit done once we do that this is what we have so you can see we have that animation to kind of get into it and that's how you add some flair to the four-way split screen, AKA the fatal four-way split screen. I hope this tutorial was helpful and I hope it was easy. If you guys enjoyed it, please hit that thumbs up for me right now. And if you wanna see more Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials like this on the channel, as well as gear reviews and filming tips and tricks, hit that red button, subscribe to the channel so you never miss a video. And as always, don't forget to ignite. See ya.